if you're finding some answers, some solutions, then I'd love to hear how it's working for you. For me, um, <sighs> some things, it, it's like, are you in line with your law of attraction? Are you seeing how you're, you're attracting exactly what it is you're experiencing every day? It's not something you have to work at. It's like, have you found yourself yet? You know, if, you, if you're having a crummy day, have you seen inside you what, what is inside you that created it instantly? It's like when you see the evil within yourself, your worst enemy, um, then you can see how this law of attraction actually works. And um, for me, I'm on a welfare, long-term welfare system. And it's like a lot of people would judge how successful are you? You know, like people would judge this to not really be working if I'm on this kind of a system. And it's like, really? I think it's frankly genius that, okay, I realize the system is totally screwed up. It's a system that's completely designed to fail and collapse eventually. Nobody wants to communicate with me. People want to say I'm mentally ill. And I say, okay, you win. Let's see how it's working for you. It's kind of like, you know, mirroring God. It's like, what would God do in this situation? If you perceive and see what God's doing, God says nothing. You know, God just lets you be right. <laughs> You know, it says here are the rules to live and write, but ultimately, do you ever see God come down and interfere in anything? No, God keeps his mouth quiet. So that's what I'm like, okay, I'm done trying to prove something to society and the systems that are dysfunctional and just say, okay, you're right. How do you handle your problem? And then they labeled me with mental illness and disabilities and started giving me checks. I personally, in my thought, you know, anytime I went to counseling or, you know, some kind of help that was out there, the first thing they would say is, what do you want? And I'd say, well, just give me a vacation, a break from this hell and I'll be fine. Just let me catch my breath and I'll be fine. And lo and behold, when I give up to the universe and say, okay, you're right, I'm wrong, um, and, and I get on the system, and I go with the push. People told me where to move to and where it was the cheapest, and it was the most, you know, hottest vacation area in Canada and cheapest to live, and I lived in a really, really great apartment, so um, I'm like, okay, I wanted a break. I attracted a break. I have no worries. All my stress was gone. That's what I asked for. You know, so I lost the car, lost all the debts. Um, people say I owe a lot of money and it's like, okay, what can I do about it? Nothing. They know there's nothing they can do about it. So everybody's doing sort of nothing. We all know there's a problem there. Nobody wants to solve it except for make me work at something you know will kill me because you've just labeled me with all of these disabilities you know damn well if I do things your way it will now kill me <laughs> so it's um I have happened to to think it's still wrong this welfare system because it is caused by all systems that nobody wants to have the discussion of what's right and wrong about it where are the flaws that create poverty? <laughs> um, so it's like, let them be right. Let them work and pay taxes and pay me monthly for the disability that they created within me. But anybody that comes up with answers is usually pretty sick. So if I came up with answers, my answers may look a little sick. But it's like, where's the reasoning? And it's, 
Okay, the system, this welfare system, I totally disagree with. I don't think that there's a need. I, I, it's like I'm here to understand what it's like to be down here. And for one, there's a lot of people that are saying, you suck at what it is you do. <laughs> Everything about you sucks. You are the social problem. And um, to develop your skill, to be bigger, wiser, outwit, outsmart, evil, is to not buy into all of those labels. So when they say you're lazy, don't be lazy. So when they say smart, then you're dumb, then prove how smart you are. If they say you're angry, prove that you're calm. Um, so that's kind of what I'm doing is the process of me saying there's nothing wrong with me emotionally, logically, you know, I've got to live it. So I'm using this time to calm down and heal because, okay, I was a little stressed. I was a little angry. You, you could call me, say that I had an anger management problem, but I believe I had a reason to be angry. Um, I may be perceived as depressed, but you beat the crap out of me, I'm going to cry. <laughs> you stop beating the crap out of me, I stop crying. Depression goes away instantly. So it's not like I need any pills for this. I just have to be smarter and, and, and yeah, not get depressed over the fact that you want to say, I've got a mental illness for you beating the shit out of me and me crying about it, you know, or labels of stop being a victim when you just committed a crime against me and I'm supposed to love it. That's the way our mental system seems to be is that after something really bad happens to you, you're supposed to feel good about it. Then you've got a good mental health going on. I say that's a little warped. <clears throat> um, so I'm not trying to buy into the labels that are put on me. Um, but at the same time, I know how this law of attraction works, and it's been working for me 24-7. If things are not falling into place instantly, the way other people perceive it to be, then you're not understanding my logic yet. Um, I know what it is that I'm trying to attract, and I know the what I'd like to do next in my life is like introducing a tool that can solve every problem known to the human experience. That means I'm up for the challenge. That means I want to be proven wrong. <laughs> I happen to believe the body is designed to live forever. I'd like to be proven wrong. And don't come at me with, well, everything has died in the past. It's like, okay, if we were wrong, you know, for thousands of years, does that mean that it was right? Um, if the body was meant to live forever and we've been dying all this time, wouldn't that mean that we've had it wrong all the time? <laughs> you know, so I kind of want the discussion. And it is a challenging conversation. And if anything is not happening for me instantly, the thing that I want to attract is because it's massive. <clears throat> It's, do I believe in myself enough to not react to an anger conversation? Um, can I remain calm? Can I walk the path that I'm talking about? Or would I get caught up in the drama? Um, when the drama is the solution. Because while you're proving it, you're proving something to yourself. In the meantime, I'm just having fun. And that's the whole point, is have fun with your life. Don't be the drama of your life. Don't be the hardship of your life. Try and understand why, what's going on. I, It scares the shit out of me to attract what I know I, need, I want to attract. And I've been there so many times because I know after I've attracted something big, the first thing that goes through my mind is, Judy, you've got to stop asking for big shit because you know you're going to attract it. So this is, you know, a solution to every problem known to the human experience.
That means every single person on the planet is a winner. While somebody are going to perceive a solution as somebody's got to lose, you will get into this thinking, okay, I'm going to lose and I'm going to prove it and I don't want to be the one that's losing and it's like, okay, let's see how you could win. Um, and that's the whole design of the game is how to win, how to live. And outwit, outsmart, evil. Evil is just a lack of information. People are behaving the way they do because they don't know any better. If people actually knew, it is so much like watching that Hannibal, whatever, that movie where the guy is, you know, cutting a piece of his brain and then frying it up and eating it. That's basically what we're all doing is while you're blaming somebody else for all the hell that's gone on, it's like, do you not see how you are doing it to yourself? And that's a hard pill. We don't want to see that as, you know, you're the victim of something. Why were you the victim of something? Why was I the victim of something? Why, why did all of this bad hell happen to me? Well, because I did see when I was a kid, I kind of asked for, I'd like the answers to everything. And so the universe gave me huge problems that in order for me to find the answers to everything, I had to sort of see the problem, understand the problem, and see the solution. And then you see all sides of everything that's going on. You see the problem, you see the solution, you see the causes. So it's like, okay, Judy, you asked for the answers to everything. Boom, you got it. Now it's like ignorance is bliss. Because now how do you communicate this shit? <laughs> I've sort of isolated myself and put myself in a completely different category than anybody else because, I mean, after all, if you have the belief that everything must die, you're not going to be in agreement with me. <laughs> and yet you want to live. Everybody's fighting for peace and love and wants to get to heaven. You know, most religious people want to live in heaven, live that eternal life. Oh, surprise, you got to build it. You got to do the work. <laughs> it doesn't come free. You know, you can't just destroy a planet and then God's going to say, poof, there it is. There's heaven. Congratulations, you did a good job destroying one world and welcome to heaven like you're going to know how to live in heaven. You don't even have a comprehension of heaven if you can't create it. So where the hell are you going? If somebody's just manipulated you to die. So this hell game can be perpetuated if you're dying you're living in hell if you're living you're creating heaven evil dies by just letting evil do what evil wants to do don't play in evil's game don't work for evil don't earn your living through evil but it's the difference of knowing what part is evil and what isn't and i'll give you a good example of what what, what evil is and this is uh, Dr. Wolf, who created the science, Hollow Dynamics, that claims to be a tool that can solve every problem known to the human experience. Um, there's a contradiction in there because he's healed just about everything except for himself because it can't identify the unknown problem yet. It's the ego. It's the, you know, doctors always think they got all the answers in the world, yet they got the biggest problem because they can't see their problem. They can only see everybody else's problem. Same with me. It, it, that's the only example I want to share with anybody is everybody can see my mirror. <laughs> I am looking into my mirror and what's my experiences of my mirror, how I perceive the world. And we're all doing it. You know, we all have a totally different perspective. But this guy, when you write a book and you sort of let everybody see what's inside your thoughts, it's like there's the contradiction. It's, he doesn't believe his own work. If he identified his own problems, then he could cure himself. Then he could be living his purpose, but he doesn't see himself yet, which I probably don't see myself yet either. Well, I do, but I'm just not over it yet. <laughs> I don't love myself enough yet. I don't believe in myself enough yet to do the mission that I think, I, well, I know I'm supposed to do. Um, but anyways, um, this guy was poisoned with high-grade uranium cured himself of that, developed um, a system that can transform all toxic waste into pure clean energy. Let's look at what's going on in Japan, BP oil, there's another nuclear um, pollution going on in the States. I mean, 
we got more than enough poison to wipe this planet out more than nine times and this guy knows how to fix it but out of his curing his disease he developed a heart problem and got a pacemaker which means he's now dealing with a fake heart so you can't find good answers if you're using a fake heart so he's got to cure that aspect of his heart and then he'll get some good answers and I gotta start loving myself peace out